Hi, Eric Chiboy, EricChiboy.com, and today at last, after a month of people asking me, I'm going to show you how to configure your Olympus camera so you can see uh, the highlights and the shadows before uh, triggering the, 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 before making the picture. In real time, you can see that. Okay, let's start. My website, erichipo.com. If you have any question, you can send me an email to info at erichipo.com or put a comment below the video. And I appreciate if you uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Okay, so uh, important. Uh, I've done this, I do this demo with the Olympus OMD EM5 Mark II, but the way it works is the same with other Olympus camera. I've checked with the Pen F, the OMD1 Mark II, and uh, the OM10, I'm not sure, and the new X1, I'm not sure either. But the philosophy and the way of working is, will be very, or is very similar. So if you don't see exactly on the same uh, part of the menu, it will be somewhere else, but the way it works is the same. It's important with Olympus camera, you can actually uh, configure separately the screen and uh, the, the viewfinder. So uh, you, you're gonna see we need to configure in two different places. Uh, if you want the same info, you configure the same. If you want different info, you configure different. Okay, so let's start. I'll show you a, a screen capture. Well, I'll, I'll show you uh, recording my screen so you see how it works. So as you can see, uh, I'm, uh, this is a screen. Uh, I've got a, a bit of reflection of my fingers and telephone and mobile phone. Okay, if I am overexposed, as you can see, there is an orange uh, color that appears. And if I am underexposed, there is blue areas that appear. Okay, so uh, this way you can actually know in real time if your picture is going to be overexposed or underexposed and exactly what area is going to be affected. So now I'm going to explain to you how to configure your camera so you get that. Uh, it will be uh, on the screen but also in the viewfinder. So I, I show you now. As you can see here, I've got my picture. So the first of thing you must not forget, you must configure it separately, the viewfinder and the screen. First of all, you go to menu E. You're going to change the way of exposure, the metering. It's important that you have the metering in full screen, full picture, okay, the first one. When this is done, we're going to configure the uh, screen, live view. You go to the D1, then you go to info setting, live view, image only, overall, uh, Instagram, uh, Instagram, highlights and shadows, light box. I don't put light box, but you have to select the all for the rest, okay? You can put light box if you want, but I don't use it. Then you go to live view info. First, image only, then you go to custom. Click on the right here, you see my finger, my thumb. Okay, here I've got put Instagram, take it out, put highlight and shadows. You can also put the level uh, George, but I prefer to put it on custom too. Then I go to custom too. I don't put histogram, I put highlights and shadows. Histogram and highlight and shadows are kind of incompatible. Uh, I've noticed that uh, according to the firmware you're using, sometimes uh, you have the, the highlight and shadows and uh, not the histogram. But if you put the histogram, you cannot get the highlight and shadows and it's not indicated, okay? I think they fixed it in some firmware, but if you don't have the latest one, I think it's a problem. Okay, so now when this is done, you've configured your, uh, you have, and here on settings, I've got it on 25, okay? Then when you have configured this, you can go to you can go to configure the uh, the, the viewfinder. It's on the J section. You go here, info setting, click on it, basic info. Then you go to custom one, click on the right arrow. Here you see I don't have the histogram uh, selected. I've got just highlight and shadows. And then on custom two, I've got highlight shadows level George. To keep, you know, if it's horizontal or vertical picture, okay? When this is done, as you can see, there is a, an important button, which is the info button here, okay? 
you click once you have just a picture you click a second time here you can see I've got my highlights and shadow indication okay if I click a third time I've got on the third option here I also have here as you can see the George level that tell me if it's vertical or horizontal okay so and also have at the same time the highlights and shadows okay in case one after you configure you cannot see uh, the, the change on your screen uh, what you need to do is touch the info and make sure you're on the right option if you're just on picture you won't see anything as you can see if I touch nothing happens okay in case you do want a histogram you can configure on the menu I'm going to change it just on screen not on not on the not on the live view oh sorry so I go back to the D1 so you said info setting live view info custom instead of highlights I put histogram okay I get out as you can see just oh sorry just a picture picture and histogram here but live view uh, the, the highlights are not indicated on the picture if I click here then I've got my George level I don't have the histogram but I do have the uh, highlights and shadows so this is that simple it's important to indicate your camera when uh, have to have the, the, the highlights and shadows appear if you work in row then there is no problem you can leave it so I show you this is in the D menu go to histogram setting get that okay if you work in row you indicate 255 and 0 when it gets orange it means it's over 255 then it's burnt okay but if you work in uh, JPEG uh, the the margin to 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 get uh, your your uh, sh highlight back is so narrow that uh, if you put 255 you largely you're likely to get a hole in your picture so I recommend you would not put over 250 or 240 245 this way uh, when you get the the orange warning you know there is still a small margin so you can uh, get your highlight back in post-production and the shadow uh, if you're in JPEG maybe just to make sure put on five or something like this you know so your warning gets before I leave it in the row I don't work in JPEG we're just in row but I advise you uh, uh, to put maybe in five if you work in JPEG okay well I hope uh, this information has been useful to you you liked it and uh, now you can uh, see in real time if your picture will be overexposed or underexposed. Thank you for watching the video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. There's a subscribe button down there. If you click on the bell, you will be notified when I upload a new video. Uh, my website, ericgibo.com. My uh, email, info at ericgibo.com. If you have any question, you can send me there or put a comment below the, the, the video. And my social network info are in the description below. Thank you very much. Bye.